Welcome back, guys. Today I thought I'd take a look at a uh, an Arch Linux distribution, <clears throat> uh, Arch Labs. Now, Arch Labs 5 just recently was released, and um, I just recently installed it. Uh, it's it's very unique <clears throat> in that it combines OpenBox with i3. So you have two desktop environments, and you can access either one uh, through the login screen. When you boot, uh, when I booted into the first uh, boot after installation, uh, I was in the open box uh, desktop environment. And I'm fairly familiar with open box. Um, I moved the panel from the top to the bottom and I configured uh, the tint two panel the way I usually like it with the launches on the left system tray on the right open windows in the middle really nothing that I don't need um, and it's a very simplistic desktop environment if you're familiar with open box you won't have any issues with open box now i3 is another uh, another issue altogether i3 can be more confusing but there are lots of tutorials available that can guide you around i3 and help you understand it and utilize it now I sometimes enjoy using i3 but not very often um, it's really not my cup of tea I prefer open box uh, or LXDE now, of course, you can install LXDE on top of this if you prefer the LXDE environment because LXDE utilizes a lot of open box configuration. So you can do that fairly easily through the terminal. Now, this distribution is created by a gentleman by the name of Eric Dubois. Now, Eric has a uh, terrific YouTube channel. By my count, it looks like he released 59 videos in the last week, all tutorials helping you to get the most out of your uh, of your Arch Labs installation. And that's really unusual. You don't see that kind of um, support. You don't see that kind of attention to detail with every Linux distribution. Usually there's a website, a download link, maybe a tutorial or two if you're lucky. But in this case, Eric really has gone way above and beyond what the normal distribution uh, usually provides. So as you can see, um, Eric's YouTube channel has a lot of different videos trying to help you get the most out of Arch Labs. If you take a look at videos, uh, it's broken down into playlists and you can see there is one dedicated to Arch Labs, but there are all kinds of playlists, all Linux related, although I did see um, some Mac uh, related videos or channels. If you take a look at channels, you can see Eric goes Mac uh, there's a WordPress so there's all kinds of helpful videos on Eric's website and you'd be um, well served if you subscribe to Eric's site he does a lot of terrific work now one of the things that Eric provides is a multitude of conkeys I've got the stock conkey here which is fine for me but if you right click on the desktop uh, and go to preferences to Conkey, you can see there is a Conkey chooser and you can just select the one that you want, enable it, take a look at it, see if it's uh, more what you had in mind. But this default Conkey is fine for me. Now one of the things that I noticed if I right click the desktop the the menu pops up pretty fast but if I were to select a menu with icons it tends to make the menu 
lag. So when you right click, it takes a while to open up. So for example, if I go to OB menu generator and ger generate a pipe menu with icons and let it do its thing. If I right click, I right clicked already and you can see the delay. So I'm going to right click right now and that's the delay because of the enabling of the icons. So I'm going to just generate a pipe menu, eliminate the, the icons, and if I right click now, it's pretty fast. Now, one of the things that Eric has done here is provide a ton of configuration options and a ton of applications. So if I right click, you've got your terminal, web browser, file manager, text editor, media player. You've got all those. But then in accessories, you can see the, the abundance of accessory applications. Development, education. Now games, I installed Steam. I had no issues. I also installed my NVIDIA drivers and my Realtek Wi-Fi drivers and I had no issues with either of those. For graphics, you can see there are a lot of different options. For multimedia, I installed a few, but um, you've got all the basics covered. For network, I also installed a few different browsers. You've got LibreOffice. As I said, I installed my NVIDIA drivers. For settings, now you can see, in my opinion, this is where it gets a little bit confusing because it seems to combine elements from XFCE, LXDE, OpenBox, and so it makes it a little bit difficult when you're trying to configure your desktop. Now, if I go to System, um, you can see you've got Tint2. You've got a lot of utilities here that are useful. Um, but if I go to preferences, this is where it gets a little bit sticky for me. If I go to preferences, you can see that I have LX appearance, I've got XFCE4 appearance, light DM appearance, slim appearance, Rofi appearance, termite appearance. So particularly, I was trying to get a different icon to populate. And I think I had to go into three different appearance configuration uh, utilities in order to get them to appear properly everywhere. And that makes it a little bit confusing uh, because the the average user, if they're going to give Arch Labs a try, and they haven't played with OpenBox, it introduces a lot of, um, let's say, optional uh, items that may serve to confuse them and make them give up. Uh, the other thing is, even if you are familiar with OpenBox, when you see so many different appearance configuration options, that can get confusing even to a, a, an OpenBox user. Now, I've used OpenBox uh, for quite a while, and I'm fairly familiar with it, and it was confusing to me. The other issue that I think should be considered uh, by Eric is to instead of combining open box and i3 uh, rather than muddy the waters with two desktop environments I would consider releasing two separate ISOs if you want i3 you grab i3 if you want open box, grab open box. Um, so I'm not sure, and if you guys uh, want to comment uh, on with your viewpoints, and those of you who have used Arch Labs longer than than I have, 
uh, may be able to shed some light or give some input as to why the, there are some remnants of XFCE, there are some remnant, remnants of LXDE, and OpenBox, of course, being the main desktop in, environment. So, all in all, I, I'd have to say that I commend Eric and the work that he's done, the website that he's provided, the amount of tutorials, the level of detail. Um, super, absolutely unmatched in my opinion. Uh, but on the negative side, I'd say, uh, Eric, please take a look or provide some feedback or input as to why we need remnants of XFCE, remnants of LXDE on top of OpenBox. So all in all, guys, I'd have to say Arch Labs is terrific. I haven't had any issues with it. Now, it's not as quick, it's not as snappy as um, a standard open box distribution. Open box normally is associated with speed and sh very quick response times. I haven't found that to be the case with Arch Labs. It's got so much installed that I think it has a negative effect on performance. So guys, that is my brief look at Arch Labs. Uh, if you haven't tried OpenBox in the past and you want to take a look at i3, uh, um, by all means, download Arch Labs and take a look. Now, as I mentioned, Eric has his YouTube channel and he has his WordPress website where you can access all of the tutorials, uh, the new Arch Labs 5 or uh, referred to as R2D2. Lots of information on the website. So uh, guys, that is it for this video. Arch Labs 5 R2D2. Uh, thank you very much for stopping by the channel today. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you soon. Take care.